Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're gonna to be updating these old switches and outlets in this house to more modern, updated white rocker switches and outlets. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. So as you can see, these switches are different colors. This is kind of a light beige. This set is a dark beige. I'm gonna replace all of them with uh, new white switches. Uh, some are three-way. There's probably a four-way in there and maybe one of them is just a regular switch. So I'm basically going to be replacing these with uh, like for like similar type switches. These are dimmers. You can see the, the slide switches here, low and high. And these are normal. I think this one is a four-way. I won't know until I get it pulled out. All right, so I'm going to start by taking these switches out one at a time here. Carefully. Now, this one still has power because I can turn a light on in another part of the room. This one is dim. It controls hallway. That's also controlled by other switches, and it is a three-way switch. We've got a common and two other wires. So I know the power is off for this one because I've, the light went out with it. I'm still gonna test it though, just to be safe. Nothing, now uh, this switch next to it should still be hot, and it is. So I'm not gonna touch that one. I'm just gonna work on this one that I know is dead, and I'll do the same for these other switches down the road. Here is my replacement three-way switch. It's a little bit different from my old one. This one, the back is much thicker, but the screw terminals are all in the right place. This black one here is the common or traveler, and then it's got two brass. And on my old switch, there's the black. Although this wire looks white, it's actually black. It's just been painted. And then I've got two brass. So the, the this black and this red will get attached to these two brass terminals. And it's just a, a a like for like swap out of the wires. So with the power off, you have to get the wires off of the old uh, the old switch, and these are in the push fittings here. So you can either put them in the push fittings or wrap them around the screw heads. And so with the push fitting, you need something very small and stiff to get in to the, uh, the hole there. And so I've got this tiny little pair of pliers. And so if I push that in there, it should release it, and it is, you can see that that wires out. So I'm just gonna do that with the rest of the wires and put the new switch on. Okay, I put the ground on first. And I'm just gonna give that a little squeeze. I'll go back and tighten all those up by hand. Now this, uh, this is the traveler. A lot of electricians will put a little curly cue in the wire. It goes in there. That's pretty much just holding them in place. And then I've got two other wires. Okay, so that's holding them all in place. And now I'm gonna go ahead and crunch them down a little bit. Make sure everything is nice and solid. And then gradually fold the wires in back into the box. Okay, I've got that pretty much back in the box. I'm not gonna tighten it up super tight yet because I've gotta replace, replace this switch, but I've gotta do a whole bunch of stuff before that. 
So uh, I'm going to have a cover plate on this eventually and I may need to adjust these back and forth so I'm not going to completely crunch that down where it's tight yet. I'm going to go ahead and finish these ones on the left and then I'll find the breaker for that switch. Well I'm making my way down the bank of switches here and this these are all dimmers. This is a three-way dimming switch. Here's the dimming feature right here on the side. Uh, same as these, just a different color. So again, it's just a straight wire for wire swap, making sure you put the right wires in the right spots. Uh, you might see this label here. This is for a three-way switch, so I'm gonna be removing that. If you were using just a regular switch uh, with the dimmer, you could use this one, just keep the label on it. I pulled this switch out and it is a four-way switch. Power's off, it's got two blacks, those are two commons, and two brass on the other side, and I've got a an exact duplicate of that. Two blacks, same side, same positioning for the ground wire, and two brass. So again, it's just a, a straight wire for wire swap. Okay, so for outlets, I've got the breaker off, but I always wanna to test to make sure that the power is off, it is off. If it were on, you would see these two lights here, the one in the center and one on the right, uh, light up. I should say that if it was, if the power was on and it was wired correctly, you would see these two lights come on. Otherwise, uh, you'll see a different configuration. Alternatively, you can use this type of detector. It comes on, it's got a light, it'll make all kinds of buzzing and squealing noises if there's AC detected and there's nothing, so we're safe. So I've got a uh, drill here. I'm gonna start unscrewing this thing. And pull it out. And this again is a wire for wire swap. And so to kind of beat time a little bit, you can see how these are all wrapped around the screw heads on each side. Some of them get really tight. So you can certainly uh, just loosen the screws and move the wire onto the new one and wrap you kind of finagle it around the screw head and then tighten that back down but just for efforts of speed i usually just take out these screws and it'll fall exactly where they are you can see top bottom there and do the same to the hot side and i've just got the ground to do. Now the ground is really weak. I shouldn't say it's weak, of course. What I mean is that it's on this metal tab that breaks off. And so on this one, I do kind of finagle it until it comes off without taking, without taking the uh, screw head off. You can see how fun that is. Okay, so a new outlet. Now I've got all the screws still in, but I am gonna take these out. And I'm gonna keep them separated from my old screws because the old ones have paint all over them. And again, it's just a pretty easy thing here. Now you can see on this outlet, it's also got um, the holes here where if this wire was straight, you can just stick them in and it's supposed to grab them. I hate those, they never seem to make good contact and these are already bent, so rather than straight each one of them out, I'm just gonna take these screws out, put this the pre-wrapped wire around it, and put the screw back in. Hot is gold, and neutral goes to silver. Okay. The ground I will not take out because this little metal tab will break off if I do that. So what I'm going to do is wrap this ground wire around my ground first of all. Give her a little squeeze. Now, I use the gun a lot to tighten this stuff up, but I always come back and uh, tighten everything up. Snug it up, I should say. Oh, I'm gonna just put the screw in the preformed loop. And sometimes it's easier just to put a little 
tension on that thing. Get it over into the hole. And tighten it. I'll come back with a screwdriver and tighten all these up. But sometimes it seems like you need about three different hands to do all this. Okay, so there's the neutrals. I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing to the hots. Okay, as you can see, there's two hots and two neutrals, which just means that power comes into this outlet and continues on to another outlet. If you had just one hot and one neutral that came in, this would be the, the end of the line and would not continue on. come through with a screwdriver and make sure everything is nice and snug. Don't want to over tighten. I just want to make sure that nothing is loose. Doing the same thing on the neutrals and the ground. Okay. So everything is exactly the way it came off. I'm just going to gently push this back into the wall now. And before I do, I want to make sure that this outlet isn't cockeyed this way or that way because once I put the face plate on, you're going to see it. And I don't want to see that. I want to see it nice and straight. And you want to make sure this is vertical and not crazy swampy like it is now. And what's left is to put the face plate on. That'll go like so. Standard screwdriver for that. And these will crack if you over tighten them, so get them snug and leave them alone. Okay, that'll do it. So there are certainly situations that you wanna be aware of for special cases, like um, when you see an outlet that's upside down like that. Uh, this, you, this means that it's a switched outlet, it's a half hot. So the top outlet is going to be controlled by a switch on the wall. The bottom will be hot 24 seven. So when you see this, you gotta uh, check it very carefully because you'll have the two wires will go to each one of these brass terminals, but you will need to break off this little tab right here in the middle of these two. So if you don't do that, both are gonna be hot 24 seven because they will have, this, this little tab makes it so that each of these terminals is hot all the time. So all you do is you grab that tab right in the middle and you just, back and forth like this and it'll snap off and that way these will not be live all the time the bottom one will but the top one will be controlled only by the switch that's a mistake that's pretty common also there are outlets that um, you do stick a wire into the back here and tighten this if you unscrew these on some outlets you'll uh, you'll have to go get a new outlet because there's a little piece in here that snugs up as you tighten the tighten the screw and it snugs the wire in. These you can wrap around or you can just put the wire in there and there's a little there's a little bent piece of, uh, of metal in the terminal that grips the wire. I don't like that because it just it just seems to fail a lot. So anyway, check out your uh, outlets before you start going with them. If you can move these screws in and out, then you do not want to remove them completely. Another thing to be wary of is GFI outlets. Now this is one that I took off of a kitchen backsplash and here is the replacement. They look absolutely identical with the exception of the back, the important part. So on a GFI you've got line in and load out 
the hot wire goes to line in, which is this side on this old GFI. So hot goes in and then it comes out on the load and supplies the other outlets. On my new outlet here, line in is on the other side. So if I would have done just a straight swap of wires, I would have reversed the wiring on the new one. So uh, be wary of that. If you need to, separate the wires out of the box and turn the breaker back on and test to make sure which wire is the black hot wire. The black hot wire will go to the line in on the brass screw. So here's the finished product. Everything is the same color. Here's some more switches and outlets, all white and pretty. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.